Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I know that it's been a long evening, and it just falls to me to do a final bit of uh, very important business. Actually, I was mentioned from this podium a little while ago as being the professor of a very distinguished member of parliament, the federal level of parliament. I'd just like to let you know I'm also the professor of uh, Yasser Nakvi, who was just re-elected in my, uh, my neck of the woods in Ottawa. So I'm a very bipartisan professor. In terms of vote of thanks, the very first vote of thanks I'd like to give is to you. The people who comprise the actual membership, not just the leadership of this organization, are the heart and soul of what makes everything work. Together, uh, we can make things happen. But more importantly, I am a political scientist, and I'd like to commend the members of this organization and those who, rec who recognize their importance. Pakistan is often in the news, but not for positive things. If Pakistan is to have the kind of future it deserves, it falls to the people in this room and the people who recognize and support the people in these, this room to see Pakistan for what it can be, progressive, pluralistic, dynamic, future-oriented, and prosperous. Pakistan is not a failed state. It is not even, in my opinion, a failing state. But for all the bad news one hears in the press, look around this room, and my first vote of thanks goes to you, the members of Canada-Pakistan Business Council. A note here um, <clears throat> from the Prime Minister of Canada. The Prime Minister of Canada says, we have worked diligently, this organization, to promote strong trade and commercial links between Canada and Pakistan, successful trade missions, and a range of joint business ventures and initiatives. That's you. You've done all these things. Uh, the organization has organized the trade missions. I happen to go on one of them. It's a great experience if you get a chance. So in recent years, and this is important, they're working on a FIPA. So those of you who are in business and doing business with Pakistan, you've got the government of Canada's support, according to the words of the Prime Minister of Canada. We've also heard from a number of political leaders tonight. Uh, some people said, gee, there's too many. But you know, I don't think you can have too many. Too many long speeches, maybe, but not too many political leaders. I'd like to thank those political leaders from all levels of government who are here to show their support to this association. You know, politicians are also often given kind of a bad rap. But again, I'm a political scientist, and I see politics as a calling. And the people who are here tonight have answered that call to public service. Uh, this is a, uh, a special role to play in our society. I commend those who have answered that call, my students and others. And once again, please give them a round of applause. I'd like to mention one in particular, two, of course. Uh, one is CS, who's been here uh, in front of you talking with that great voice of his, who, recommend, who represents uh, Minister Kenny as well. But Senator Salma, I'm an Ottawa person. Senator Salma, as she's called in Ottawa, is making a big splash and a very important contribution just by being there and being as dynamic, engaged, professional, and um, um, motivating as she certainly is. So, Senator, thank you. We've had a stirring message up here from the voice of business in Ontario. When the voice of business in Ontario shows up to talk to us and for you to talk to him, you know that the Canada-Pakistan Business Council, our members, are up to something. He came here, I think, not just because he was invited by Samir,
who's hard to say no to, as everybody here, know, here knows. But I think he came here because he recognizes that you are a very key element in that voice of business. He delivered a great message to us, a series of messages, including welcoming newcomers. So to him as well, thank you. <clears throat> we just heard of, most recently, a, a number of awards. Look at the diversity, the range of people who received those awards, the depth of their commitment, the role that they've been playing in Canadian society. The Canada-Pakistan Business Council is not only about Pakistan, it is about Canada and Pakistan. To all of our award winners, congratulations. <laughs> now moving onward, as you can see, I'm a director, I have my pin, in the Canada-Pakistan Business Council. Neither being Pakistani nor a business person, I find this a bit anomalous, but it's been useful, I think, for me, and I hope for the organization, to have a broad and diverse board of directors. So our board of directors have been active. We're a dynamic bunch. Uh, Samir sees to it that we work. There's two in particular I'd like to recommend uh, to your attention tonight. Farooq Daoud. Farooq, where are you? Look how he is, hiding in the back, uh, very modest. But actually, Farouk is one, of, is one of our founding fathers, one of our leaders, one of our pioneers, a mainstay of the organization. So thank you, Farouk. And his brother's here tonight, too. So thanks to them. We also have an old friend of mine, uh, especially on our board of advisors. And our board of advisors is playing an increasingly active role. So Naeem Sheikh, Naeem, are you? You here someplace? And his good wife. Naeem Sheikh is a former Secretary General of SARC. Uh, he's been an active member now of our advisory council. We're honored to have him here. To the whole advisory council, to my fellow colleagues on the board of directors, thank you. <laughs> and finally, we all would not be here tonight if it weren't for the for the uh, great leadership abilities of our president, Samir Dosal. Would Samir stand up, please? And that's why we're here tonight, folks. The Canada-Pakistan Business Council, thank you very much. I won't say end good night. Enjoy your dessert, continue the networking, and I'll see you next year. <laughs>